what's up guys welcome to the last video for chapters five and six which means that next class that we do after that will definitely be on chapters seven and eight so coming to the ending of the book hope you guys have enjoyed it so far i mean i hope you guys are reading so that way you're keeping up to date the book has 11 chapters i think so seven and eight and then we'll probably just do nine ten and eleven one time to kind of just close out the book or maybe we'll do nine and ten and then eleven will be by itself you know being it being the last chapter um as usual i'm going to start off reading over the summary of chapters five and six then today we're going to go through themes and we're going to go through a few quotes not too much because you also have the test that we're going to do to that you're going to do today that we do at the end of each theme section or um after every three lectures so i won't make this video too long <clears throat> summary for five and six rami and the hilchers go to the busy market to sell rami watches a gentleman try to sell a mangy horse unsuccessfully and decides to try to sell his goats in the same fashion by auctioning them he drew a crowd and sold his goats but comments were made about the fact that son son johnson's son was selling goats in the market. Sonson is pleased that they were successful at the, mar at the market and Rami volunteers to buy his father a drink with some of the money that he got from selling the goats. Sonson agrees and Donna Ray and Rami sit by their stall talking. He expresses that he has a new type of freedom with his father, one where he is not cloistered by his mother's social standards. He explains the glaring differences in the personalities of his parents, as well as why their divorce was an accident. Then his mother, siblings, Jake, and the chauffeur came along. Debbie is both appalled and livid to see their child selling in the market. The scene drew a crowd because Debbie was so upset that she threatened to take Sonson to court. Sonson arrives and Debbie and the children reject his hand of friendship. Chapter 6. Rami and Sonson made a lot of money from their day at the market. However, it was clouded by the encounter with Debbie. Sonson does not go home but went to town to drink. While Rami considers his mother's involvement with Jake and his father's seeming involvement with Mrs. Hilcher. When Sonson gets back, he and Rami have a discussion about Debbie's character as well as whether or not he should live with her. Rami refuses. About a month later, they hear that Debbie and Jake are to be married. Rami does not attend the wedding but watches it from a big tamarind tree that was located near the church. A detailed description of the wedding occurs at this point. Rami went home after the proceedings to find an unexpectedly optimistic so-and-so. Now, we're looking at themes, there are many themes that we can look at. There's one that's kind of different, and it's not a regular theme, but I want to call it um, society, roles in society, or the effects of society. And we're going to look on two quotes that really show how society has, has affected these characters and where they are. Right? I remember, I like to to tie in the themes with the characters and the setting. Now, this is a quote where they're at the market and they're, they're trying to shame Rami for selling at the market. <clears throat> Where's your father? Well, not they, <laughs> Ma is trying to shame him. Where's your father, Ma snapped. Out somewhere, ma'am. That man, she stamped her foot and grunted. Doing this to you, dragging you down like this. I didn't think that Merton would sink this far. I won't let him do this to you another minute, Rami. I won't. Like an automatic cr critic, Jake was shaking his head in disbelief. I didn't like the scene one way or another. Now, what we learn from this theme, from this quote at least, is that there is a standard that Ma is claiming to live by, but it's something that may feel a little bit exaggerated. But obviously, as we said in the as we said when we discussed the characters, Sonson is a short sleeve type of person. And Rami seems to be taking up this type of personality as well. So he doesn't really see the issue with going to the market. While Ma wants to see the successful businessman office type. And the fact that Sonson is in the market kind of means that he won't be that type. And Ma is looking down on this and it, she feels shame. But the interesting thing is that Rami doesn't really feel shame. He kind of feels a little bit um, uncomfortable with how Ma is acting. As he can say here, um, I didn't like the scene one way or another. You know, um, he doesn't like how they're looking at him, him being in the market, so he wants to leave. But he also doesn't like how Ma is acting. 
So there is an overall fact that there is an image out there that Ma thinks that Ram should uphold that Rami doesn't necessarily agree with because he kind of likes this down-to-earth um, life that he's living with uh, my father, Sonson Johnson. So as a class, I want you guys to kind of look at that, think about it. How would you feel if, how do you feel about how, how Ma has reacted? Comment under the video, on the post on Edmodo and let me know. The next theme, the next quote that we're going to look at just gotta find it. Don't look like a lot. Oh, there we are. And this is in chapter six, which is our wedding so contrary. And they, and he's speaking about the response to the wedding. And he says, And what an uproar in the village. I could hardly gather the nerves to go up there anymore. Everyone was talking. The women criticized Jake. Of course, they had lost a husband themselves, but the men spoke of him in Casanova terms. They said that when they had, when he had won himself Robin Hill, <clears throat> they said that when he had won himself Robin Hill, they had thought that he had put on his long suit, but now they knew that he had in fact done something of a rather short nature. Um, I couldn't understand Ma's position. Something must have happened to her mind, as though she were spiting father, punishing him. Now, this was in, this was interesting to me because what we see is how society reveres, or not even just reveres, but how everyone kind of looks at it, the different opinions that we have from it, you know? Um, the women criticized Jake, you know? Of course, they had lost a husband themselves. Jake was this was this bachelor that all the women wanted. You know, him having the money, him having the success, women kind of saw him as a viable option. Um, and then the men look at him as like a Casanova. You know, not only did he win this woman's marriage or heart, he also took the he took the possessions. He won Robin Hill. You know, so his type of power um, looked good to the people in society. So they started to look up to him as a man in society that they wanted to aspire to. So what we'll find is that going forward, you're going to notice how this type of status affects the characters, not just the main characters, but also the people in the town, where they are, how people see them. It becomes the image of the society they're in where class is kind of defined by your success, by your money, by your wealth. And this is the effect that, it, that is happening. So this is the role in society that, that, that starts to show itself. What type of role does Merton play? What type of role does Jake play? And how do the people around them, how are they affected, I should say? I was going to say how do they respond, but it's more about how they are affected. And then we'll look at how they respond. And in the coming chapters, we're going to look, we're going to see a lot more of that. So guys, please do the test that is set for you. See you soon.